Welcome back guys, my name is Jay Siemens. I ice fish a, a fair amount. It's been, uh, we've been spending a lot of days on the ice this winter already. It's getting cold, now it's feeling like real winter. Last winter we got so spoiled with mild weather and now it's like, this is end of January, early Feb. This is, this is when ice fishing can get tough. Um, conditions on lakes are basically requiring some sort of tracked machine, maybe that'd be a side-by-side -side or a sled. Anyways, we got the Bearcat, we're fueling it up. We are at MTT in Lundar, or just outside of Lundar, sorry, South St. Laurent. And um, you've seen this place before, I've stayed here, they got accommodations, they got a restaurant with the best poutine in Canada, and they got gas. So anyways, we are fueling up. We are going to meet the mayor of the Interlake, the man, the myth, the legend, Kevin Erickson. I built a shack with him earlier this winter. And um, we're not gonna be shack building this time. The focus is gonna be fishing. It's really cold outside. I'm gonna stop talking, MTT. They're selling catch and cook. So go pick up some catch and cook, pick up some minnows on your way out. And uh, we're gonna go fish Lake Manitoba right now. Here we go. All right, we're back. The inner lake, eh? That's where we are. We're in uh, the Manitoba's inner lake region. How many regions does Manitoba have? List them off right now. Uh, Eastern. Yeah. Central. Yeah. Western. Yeah. Interlake. Yeah. Parkland. Yeah. Northern. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning from Lake Manitoba. This is the man I promised you. Everyone's been requesting more Keevan, more Keevan. We got more Keevan right here. If you guys remember from a couple weeks ago, we, uh, we built an ice shack on this same lake, on Lake Manitoba. Keevan, have you used the ice shack since I last saw you? Uh, pretty much every day of December. How many fish do you think you caught out of the shack? Uh, probably a thousand. A thousand? <laughs> no, you haven't. How many actually? I don't know. At least 500. Keevan's been logging some hours on Lake Manitoba. That's where we're at. We're gonna talk all about Lake Manitoba. We're gonna talk all about Keevan Erickson, and uh, he's guiding today, so the pressure's on Keevan. Tell me some of the impressive catches you've had since we've last talked. Well, let me check. You got a big walleye, didn't you? Yeah, I got a just over 28 inch walleye. 28 inch walleye. Everyone thinks you gotta go like Winnipeg for big ones. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I was I was a little shocked too. And Kevin is telling me some of the stats, and you seen what a 28, a 29. Yeah, we got 26, 25 and a half. Some real solid fish. Big fish, right off the beach. Um, right now we are in the South Basin. What's the cutoff line, would you say, between the South Basin and the North Basin? Would it, would it be the Narrows? It would be the Narrows, yeah. Yeah. Walleye, perch, burbot. You got a big burbot this year, too. Yeah, I got a few. There's uh, My sister got a master. How big was it? 30 on the nose? It was pr like 30 on the nose. Yeah. It was right there. We are in six feet of water, seven feet of water, but below the ice. So there's like three feet of ice and then like six feet below. But uh, talking to other people and, and even earlier in the year, like catching fish with like three feet of water under the ice, like crazy shallow. Yeah, you can get them in three, two, three feet of water in the evening bites pretty good. All right, we should back up. Yep. Well, spot number one. I still got faith in Keevan. Still got faith in him. Locals know best. He's been living on the lake. I thought you said you wanted micro perch. Uh, we are going to move deep, which uh, isn't isn't any sort of secret technique. We were in six feet of water. We're going to move on to like 12, 13. Um, I think perch will maybe more so be the focus, but they're definitely big. Like you got your big wally out deep, right? Yeah. So we're going to move out about a mile. Like overall, it's pretty gradual here. There are steeper breaks. I think we are on a steeper break. As you can see on the live scope, there's kind of, you know, some nice rocky stuff here. But I would say my experience with perch more so is they like to be just in the mud and kind of the way to find them is sometimes just to drill holes. I think the wind dies down a bit and then by like one, two o'clock it goes crazy again. So you're, we could... we you're a weatherman now. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm the jack of all trades. Do you want me to say something? Yeah. We are in a new spot, probably. Oh, I know the spot. Yeah, it's, it's pretty specific and it's about 12 or 13 feet. I like it. Yeah. Holes aren't gonna drill themselves, Keevan. All right, I'll get right on that. That's a lot of ice. I think it's pretty funny if you uh, read like the local Manitoba fishing message boards. It's an ongoing joke when someone asks, do you need an extension? They just get roasted online. And I would say bring an extension. Yeah, we're getting there. We're gonna just move around it. It is like super warm. It is gonna get windy today, 
but we're gonna take advantage of it right now, stay outside, try to find some fish on the live scope, and then we'll uh, set up camp. Well, we got some depth, Keevan. There's fish, look at that. So that's 25 feet in this direction if the transducer's lined up properly. There's definitely fish there. Okay, so 30 feet this direction. It's not far, 30 feet's like here. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh. Oh, he's gonna eat it. Did he eat it? Look at this guy with his gloves on. Yes! A little wall. Lake Manitoba! A little bit deeper? That was quick. Beautiful. Beautiful right there. Heading back. Right on. Good sign. They're in the deeps, the deep deeps. We are now in 12 feet. Those gloves aren't ideal for this situation. <laughs> They're just a little too bulky for a rod and reel. I was going to look at uh, Navionics and see. Yeah. So the Navionics app, it, Lake Manitoba isn't mapped on one foot contours. Nobody is mapping for it? No. no. But Navionics has relatively decent mapping. Yeah, so you can, you can buy the Navionics app. I'll link it below. And it just, it gives you general contours so you kind of know what you're dealing with for depth. Lake Manitoba never disappoints. With fish like that, how can you go wrong? Getting nice out here, Kevin. It's really starting to turn into a beautiful day. All right, we're making another move. Uh, one walleye. Um, we were moving deeper. We looked on Navionics. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the spot. We'll we'll overlay it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice tight contour. I mean, in the scheme of, it's all relative, right? I mean, a tight contour on uh, a shield lake is very different than a tight contour on one of these lakes, like. Uh, this is a big gradual bowl. Like, what what is it in the in, in the middle? Um, twenty feet? Yeah, maybe twenty. Twenty. Yeah, 25. this isn't a deep lake, so I mean, a lot of mud. Yeah, we're just gonna keep moving around, and uh, we'll try try deeper. I I really want to get into perch. I've I've caught walleyes on Lake Manitoba, and I think we'll catch walleyes at sunset. Uh, for prime time, we'll go shallow, but for now, I want to I want to try to find some of these uh, midday perch. So we will keep moving. Cool. Is this the spot, Kevin? This is the spot. Kind of some cool contours. We are back. We're not as deep as we thought. There's definitely some activity down here. So right now we're definitely on the more aggressive end of the lure spectrum. Um, so I got the, the medium jigging spoon. He's got the medium rattle bait, the tantrum. He's using the true grit, the 38 medium. I'm using the drench, the 39 medium light. Probably like the two most popular walleye rods in the lineup, I would say. Big old perch or walleye to come in. Yeah, sorry, we're on the aggressive end, you know, perch slash walleye. If we're marking a bunch of smaller fish that are rejecting our baits, um, then we'll switch. I got a small tungsten here, but the thing is like, the perch are still gonna get attracted by those bigger baits. So don't feel like you're not gonna call them in. You're gonna see them, you know, on your electronics with, they, they will be interested. They're pretty curious fish, so. Not that much. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's different. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a pike. That's gotta be a pike. That thing was so squirrely. It's gotta be. Got it. Oh, oh, oh. Kevin's on. Kevin's got a pike. <laughs> that's the face of a pike at the hole spitting a hook. Put your hand in there. You might, do, you might be in there. That's the first pike I hooked into this winter. That's gotta be a pike, right? right? No, it had to be. It was the zappy little head shakes on it. I'm using medium size, shiner style. Frostbite tantrum. That's what that pike wanted. Wanted it. I put like one click of drag into it. It was right then was it popped off too. <laughs> All right, we are downsized into the little tungsten. We're not very good at fishing, Kevin. There's something slurring on the bottom fast. This might be a walleye. He's like directly under just doing weird fish things. Yeah. Oh, here, oh, we, go. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm thinking perch. It's pretty small. Nice perch. So. Oh yeah. Oh. Dude, this is a good perch. Look how it's just cutting circles like a perch. Come on. Or is it Come a 12 inch walleye? 12 inch perch. I'm thinking big perch. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. It's an okay perch. Wow, that perch is pale. I thought it was way bigger with, with how it acted. That perch, you can't even see this. Is that how they all look? Yeah, they're pretty they're pretty colorless out here. Look how pale that perch is. You can't even you can't even count the stripes. You promised perch, you did not disappoint. Yeah, we got perch. All right. <laughs> Lake Manitoba perch. I think that's my first Lake Manitoba perch. Ever. Where there's one, there's more. 
Oh, look at this guy. We're gonna get another one. We're on the perch pod. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is something decent. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, I hope this is a perch. Oh, I hope this is a perch. Battery's just about to die. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, boy. That's a good one. That is it. That is a nice perch. There we go. I am so pumped. Lake Manitoba perch, the small tungsten. Made it happen. We had to downsize. Even what's it like being the mayor of the Inner Lake? You know, it's a thankless job, but it a, it's a, brings me a lot of pride to see, see my communities thrive. Why should someone come to the Inner Lake region? It's a, it has inland oceans and infinite possibilities. Oh, oh there you boy. go. You got him. You got him. Nice, Keevan's on. Perch. Nice, nice perch on the rattle bait. Let's look at this. Let's, can I show the camera? That's a pretty good sized bait for a, for a perch like that, but we are, we're keeping this. He was hungry. I don't do enough perch fishing. I just don't. It's so much fun. A little, little ball of something there by your neck of the woods. Oh yeah, great. Oh. That's what I was saying. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Nice. We're on him. Another perch for the team. This is real good. Very nice. We were having perch for dinner. Nope. If they don't drop back down the hole. It's so cool, like just, I just came back from Devil's Lake and the perch there were so dark, like black stripes. And uh, definitely, you know, it depends on the, the water. Yeah, even the walleyes are fairly pale. Everything's a little bit paler in this lake. I don't know what that's about. Well, Keevan's got to take off. He's got uh, important business meetings. Oh. First drop with the rat micro rattle. Oh, it's the ticket. That's the ticket. Nice little perch. There we go. Wow, this is good, Kevin. Thank you for guiding me. I have no problem uh, giving credit where credit's due and uh, all the credit's going to Kevin. Look at this. He ate my minnow. He's got the minnow tail from before. <laughs> if only you would have switched to the micro rattle bait sooner. There's some weird stuff happening on the bottom. Like, I wonder if there's a bigger fish moving in right now. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at him on the live scope. Ooh, that's a better one. Is that a perch? Yeah. Nice. Oh, this is good. We found the bait. This is good, Keevan. All right, sweet buddy. We'll see you later. I'll be cruising back over here in a few hours. Wow, it is getting insane. Okay, we gotta do some, we gotta do some work here and turn our back into the wind because the wind has shifted direction. With these flip over shacks, back into the wind is super key. So we're gonna do a little, a little shifting here before we got a situation. Come on! All right, we're going in. All right, guys, we are back, and it looks like the fish are here. We're, we're not moving now. I've made up my mind. It got crazy outside, crazy. Perch fishing was good when Keevan left. I moved a little bit because I had to turn my back a little more into the wind. Nice mark coming on the left. This could be a walleye. Ooh, ooh. We are settled back in and the perch are still here. Oh, I hope this one stays on. Nice perch. Yes. Stay still. Look at that. That micro rattle bait is making it happen. That's the deal right there. Oh, 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 oh. I was falling asleep. That's a walleye. It's gotta be a walleye. Oh, no, that's a big perch. That's a big perch. Oh, that's a fat perch. Wow. I thought for sure that was a walleye with how he marked. I was in another world right there and that rattle bait is completely gone. Look at that nice chunky perch. Sweet. There's a couple of fish racing across the bottom right now. They just look like little bumps coming in on the live scope. Oh. Oh, come on, come back. Come back. Oh. Oh yes. That is decent. Guys. Oh baby. We're on the perch. We are on the perch. Lake Manitoba. Come catch some perch. 
I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert on Lake Manitoba, but some of these lakes just, you know, have their ebbs and flows over the year. I'm not a commercial fisherman. Um, maybe the perch fishing has always been good, but talking to Keevan who grew up here, um, he said the walleye fishing is like as good as it's ever been and the perch fishing used to be a lot better, but I mean, it seems pretty good to me. But yeah, that little rattle bait, not tipped with anything, just that little rattle bait. Um, I'm using a clear fluoro leader. It's like clear chunk of line and then to braid. I get so many questions about what is this yellow braid? It's Power Pro. It's not Ice Power Pro. It's just normal Power Pro. Um, I have a couple bulk spools. I have a bulk spool of five pound test, a bulk spool of 10 pound test. And those two are kind of what I have on the majority of my ice fishing and spinning reels. Yeah, we're using, using the drench, which I think is a pretty perfect rod, especially if you're gonna get into some, some walleyes as well. Dipstick would be fine. But that soft tip is nice, just so you don't pull those micro hooks out, because the treble hooks are very small. Oh, look at this. Oh! Oh! Oh boy, this is something special. Wow! Wow, it's gotta be a pike. It's gotta be a pike. Did you see how fast that came in? That was outrageous. <laughs> This is the pike even lost. It's coming up. Oh, that's a nice walleye. <laughs> Everything's biting the rattle bait. Micro rattle bait does it. Oh man, guys, that is such a nice bonus when you're looking for perch. Woo! All right, I would say 23 inches in fat. Oh, did you see that fish? Instant replay on the live scope. That fish wanted to kill. Oh, that fish got me pumped. My fish identification has been so bad today. It's a walleye, it's a pike. Perch are one of those fish that are not really the sunrise sunset type biters. You can catch them at those times. I've caught perch in the dark, but midday is kind of the deal for perch. I think we might just stay out here deep. There's so much fish activity. We had that nice walleye cruise through. Keevan's had other nice walleyes out in the deep, so. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, come on. Oh no. All right, he's coming back. He's coming back. Nice. Wow, did that fish give me opportunity. That one is going into the pan. Fish moving in on the right. Separate, I'm gonna try to bring them through the other ones here. Yeah, look how the other ones got scared away. Oh, he missed it. He missed it again. I'm running out of room. Oh, ho, ho, ho. man, these perch are just crushing the rattle bait. No bait needed. Well guys, Keevan just messaged me about a new online tournament that's happening. It's actually happening for the month of February. It is called the February Fishing Frenzy. Uh, it's, it's an online style tournament through the MyCatch app through uh, Angler's Atlas and uh, it runs for the whole month of February. It's 40 bucks to enter. All species, different communities in the Inner Lake region are competing against each other. So Inner Lake region is like Lake Winnipeg, Lake Manitoba and the area in between. That's the zone. I'll overlay a little map. So if you are fishing in that area, um, I would recommend entering this contest. It's only 40 bucks and it's kind of one of those things where you can't enter once you've caught the fish. So if you're going fishing anyways, I would make sure you're you're entered because uh, up to $16,000 in prizes, eligible species, walleye, northern pike, yellow perch, burbot, lake whitefish. So pretty pretty much everything you'd catch here fishing anyways, may as well. So I will link that below. Yeah, Keevan, Keevan for you guys that don't know what Keevan does, he he runs Huntfish Manitoba. That's the, the hunting and fishing promotion in Manitoba. They're, they've been a partner of my channel for a long time and they're the ones that, you know, spread the word about awesome province of Manitoba and all the opportunities here. So that is just one of many opportunities and online fishing tournaments are definitely gaining a lot of popularity and they're you know easy to enter low stress inexpensive fish coming in on the right might be decent size kind of seems to be speaking spooking away the other fish oh nice that was cool the other fish just were darting away as this one came in i think it's a decent perch oh yeah i can't believe how well they inhale this bait anyways the bait's gone. Another perch. Oh no. We're on. Ooh, that's got some weight. That's got some weight. That's gotta be a walleye. Oh ho ho! That's a piggy. That might be the biggest one yet. That was pretty close to a double header. Missing part of the dorsal. That's alright. 
Well, I hear a snow machine. Sounds like Keevan is back from his big day of meetings. He missed, he missed some good stuff, but he's back in time for the prime time bite, I, I think. I hope it's him. Keevan's back. I think the... Wow, there's a fish on that rod. Look at that, oh my goodness. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, Keevan. That'll eat. <laughs> what was, was going on? Your rod was just <laughs> wham, wham, wham. I'm like, what is going on? Oh, I had some important things going on. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. That's way brighter than I thought it would be. I, spent I don't some give you enough credit. I spent some, oh, okay, hello. <laughs> it's the light. The light did it. Oh, it's big. Yeah. They're like the average size is good. Better yeah. than I, better than I expected. Obviously there's a lot of little ones that we're not really. Oh, no, that's fine. Things that's are fine. <laughs> I love how there's just, oh wow, look at this. Look how high he is. Whoa, that seems. No, it's a perch. The perch. That's like a, it seems like a little burbity tail, but it's not big enough, I guess. Eh? Man, these perch are just racing for it. Ooh, Whoa, okay. that's a nice one. Okay, that's why it was The so sun's setting and the perch are still biting. That is, that's one of the chunkier ones. Yeah, ultra aggressive. Another one. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, okay, he's that's, coming over to me. That's, that's a burbit. Oh, he's that's coming over. Yes. You think it's a burbit? I don't know, the way it's slithering around, I think. It's so. like medium size now. Oh, oh my goodness, that's a nice perch. <laughs> Wow. That was weird how it acted. That's yeah. one of the longer ones. Yeah, that's like, that's got to be pushing pushing that range, yeah. Well, I, I, I take back everything I said about perch shutting off at sunset. We thought it was a burbot. It was a perch. Well, um, thank you to Keevan for showing me his uh, secret lake in his backyard. Lake Manitoba is cool. That's my first time uh, I've caught perch on Lake Manitoba, and we caught a bunch of them. Yeah, 13, 14 feet of water, little rattle baits. That was the key. Yeah, if you guys are coming through, stop at MTT, get yourself some poutine. Great place to stay as well if you need accommodations. They sell catch and cook also. <laughs> you can't miss it. <laughs> it's between the two big lakes. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, we're going to keep the Interlake Tour going.